Well, Francisco Geronimo is research manager for European Consumer Telecoms at IDC, and he joins me now. Francisco, thank you so much for coming on the show. In terms of what we've seen actually in the share price, a lot of the competitors, and this is quite unusual when you have a big deal, all the competitors are rising as well. So does that mean there's opportunities for the likes of Nokia, for the likes of HTC over in Asia to have a piece of the action? Yeah, that's true. And the main reason why Nokia shares raised is because uh, some of the, the biggest Android manufacturers that were putting all their investments on basically on Android uh, see this can see this uh, acquisition as a threat because basically they don't want to ha have the biggest partner and uh, as the biggest competitor. Uh, and Motorola and Google can become one of their competitors. So they need to diversify the business, and that's why they may look look at Windows phones as an alternative uh, to diversify their uh, strategy and their platform uh, for smartphones. So Francisco, talk to me about exactly who you think will benefit from this merger. We've mentioned Nokia. In terms of the other competitors, are there any other ones? I know HTC was rising in Asia, for yeah. example. Of course, for HTC and for Samsung and other Android um, manufacturers, there's also a benefit. Uh, they are facing some uh, lawsuits uh, to, because they're, the, the patents that um, Android is, is currently um, being um, faced, mm -hmm. but at the same time they will be protected uh, by Google. The question is how that protection will come, because at the end of the day, Google will be the owner of, of the patents, mm -hmm. not the Open Alliance um, um, ecosystem and not mm -hmm. the Android ecosystem directly. Uh, so they may be protected on the short term, but on the long term, there's a threat that Google and Motorola want to dominate the yeah. Android market uh, and ecosystem. Francisco, in 20 seconds, will it also spur acquisitions, more acquisitions, and therefore actually giving a lift to the tech industry as a whole? Yeah, this, this acquisition shows how important uh, and how how we'll, what how we'll see in the future in terms of consolidation. This is not anymore a game for small players. This is a, a game for the, the giants of the industry. So, and it's important for a company to dominate the software and to have a deep integration with the hardware. Of That's course. why we see this, uh, this kind of acquisitions yeah. to go forward in the future. So they're across all platforms. Francisco, yes. thank you so thank much.